Like most leaders, I always figured that to some degree it was just a fact of business life. Employees come and go. You can't offer everyone everything they want. In fact, there's only so much you can offer them with a limited budget and limited career paths. But what I was about to discover were the three things I could offer. Three things that mean more to most employees than raises or promotions. <laughs> but I'm getting a little ahead of my story. Grace was leaving. That was that. My first challenge was to find a way to break the bad news to the rest of the staff. You knew? Of course I knew. Everybody knew. Don't be the last to know. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to break her confidence. We're friends. Well, thanks a lot. I thought we were friends. Well, we are. It's just that's different. You know, you're my boss. Grace was always much bigger than her job. You'd think he'd be happy for her. Well, uh, a heads up would have been nice, Maria. We're less than three weeks from the convention. That was the most disappointing part. To him, it was all about the convention, not a thing about missing Grace as a person. If she was his favorite, what did he think of me? So does everybody know? A am I the only one? Should I even bother to announce it at the staff meeting? Yes. Yes? To which question? All of them? We didn't need a staff meeting. Everybody knew already. That's the difference between Grace and Marvin. They're both bosses. But Grace got to know people, and she'd let you get to know her. So it was like you weren't just working for the company. You're working for her. To Grace, you're a person first and an employee second.